Swing it, Daddy. Hi everybody, welcome to episode 2 of Monthly Mouthfuls. The first one I really, really liked. I wasn't sure if it would, it would work, but it was nice and silly. I know the other Amber series can be a bit more serious. Victims of an Empath can be very serious at times. Shit by the Algorithm can as well, although that's got some sillier bits, but I like the silliness, I like the more casuality of it. Did I just do an Amber? I like it being more casual. I like it being sillier. And for the most part, everything in the Amberverse is pretty stupid. In our first video, Amber shows us what she consumes in a day. So good. Okay, you guys, so I got some Mediterranean food. This is rice with some chicken. Love me a salad. I need something sweet after I eat. So I got this red velvet thing. Do I need it? No. Am I gonna have some of it? Yes. Is it Amberlynn approved? I think so. Do I want it a little bit more dry? Yes. Do I need to be making videos on Amber? Yes. Is it because I can't stop buying lovely cheap cardigans from Amazon? Yes. Amber's got nobody in her life now. She's resorted to asking herself questions. She's now even personifying random objects to make her feel like she's not alone. She still tastes good. She. He. That's what the French do, isn't it? Uh, things are masculine or feminine. Maybe she's doing that for all her French fans that have abandoned her. Sacre bleu! She was awful! Oh, that sounds quite nice, actually. <laughs> Nightmare going to the toilet with these. Ten minutes to pull me pants up. Actually, um, to get pretty serious now, guys, I was diagnosed. Uh, by the same doctor who diagnosed uh, Amberlynn with ASMR um, and actually he, he makes an appearance in Amber's video I am having a Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar Cherry Dr. Pepper the joke is it's not a real doctor or is it? what's that I hear? Oh, I thought I made a noise <laughs> oh you have to prep right all right, I'll do it again. Oh, somebody's calling. Doesn't that stop? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hi, doctor. Yes, yes, you can come see me anytime, yeah. Oh, uh, come in. Oh, it's mine and Amber's doctor. Hello, Dr. Pepper. You're very close, Dr. Pepper. Hello, Dr. Pepper. Hello, Mr. Uh, Snowflake. I've come to diagnose you with something. Oh, no. What have you come to diagnose me with? You've got cardiganitis. Cardiganitis? That sounds very serious. It isn't. No, it doesn't sound very serious. That's not mine. I don't drink sodies. Because I'm better than Amber. Although I do like yogurts. Amber then shows herself drinking anything but water. That was a loud swallow. Jimmy told me to watch a film uh, years ago, Idiocracy, Idiocracy, where everybody in the future, they don't drink water anymore, they just drink, I'm sure it's Gatorade, they just drink Gatorade, and it's how this society is so stupid. And now, Amber just drinks Gatorade. If you know the film, you'll, you'll know what I mean. So Amber showed us everything she eats in a day, and then she ah, fuck. ripped me tit off. What was I saying? Give herself a rating for the day. I want to rate my day today on what I ate and what I drank out of 10. Zero being like, wow, that is the worst I've ever done. 10 is like, wow, queen. I feel like today overall, I'm going to be at about like seven and a half. Seven and a half? That was a seven and a half out of ten? Seven and a half? That was fucking stabbing myself. So I'm taking these off. 
A joke's not worth it. I've stabbed myself about four times. Amber always says she has the knowledge. She knows how to lose weight. She just doesn't do it. But I don't, I don't think she has the knowledge. If she thinks that's a seven and a half, I don't think she has a clue how to lose weight. Shocking. Amber doesn't know how to lose weight. I think, yeah, she just doesn't, she doesn't know how to do it. If that's, if that's a seven and a half out of ten, I'm trying to think of something ridiculous. She could strap herself up to an IV bag full of KFC gravy and she'd still make it. Oh, that was a five out of ten. I didn't finish all the IV bag. She twisted and I, I've been doing this all day as well. Extra pointy. So I don't think Amber's doing it on purpose. It just happens. Oh, is that it for video one? That's it. Next, Amber shows off the only fruit she allows in our apartment. So I got this super cute one. It's a bunch of fruit. Next, Amber shows us the art project she's been working on. Here is my completed diamond painting of the Pokemon. This was so much fun. I don't believe that she likes Pokemon. She made fun of Crystal for, for like an anime and as a, as a Pokemonite, I'm offended by her pretending that she likes Pokemon. My, my favorite Pokemon uh, has and always will be Raichu. Always liked Raichu the most. Amber's favorite Pokemon is Snorlax or Arsol Chew. Is that one, is that one of the new ones? Actually, Foodie Beauty is like the next evolution stage from Amber. Du, 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 du. Your Amber has evolved into Foodie Beauty. So it's Amber, middle stage, Foodie Beauty. Uh, who's after Foodie Beauty? Who's worse than F Hitler? Your Foodie Beauty has evolved into Hitler. Du, 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 du. Then Amber does a classic uh, showing without telling. I think, I think I do owe an apology to Foodie Beauty. I called her, what did I say? I said she wasn't a very good YouTuber, but compared to Amber. Foodie, I'm really, really sorry. Or Mariam, Chantal, whatever you're calling yourself. I'm really sorry, you're, you're a much better YouTuber than Amber. You're way more interesting. I'm, I'm genuinely sorry, you're a much better YouTuber than Amber. Sorry. Please forgive me. Lots of love from your love, Mr. Cardigan. Oh, I've still got your picture. Oh, yeah, I've still got your picture. Yeah. Ah, fuck's sake. Stab myself. Yeah. How do I... I don't know how women wear these. Ridiculous. Can't do anything. Can't change the channel on the remote. Can't go for a piss. Good for plotting. I, d I did like a sat in the car, though. That, that, that clip made me laugh a lot. So in episode one, in January, she got recognized at the laundromat. She gets recognized again this month, but it's it's very different. I just so Are you Amber Lebrie? I am. I love you. Oh oh my God. God. I'm actually filming right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, how are you? I'm alright, I love your videos. You're so funny. Couple things, she uh, she happens to get recognised the week her friends are up. She's never been recognised on camera before. First time it happens is when her friends are up, which I think is a bit of a coinky dink. And just a, a week or so after getting recognised and a picture going up on the internet and a very unflattering photo of her goes up on the internet, now she's recognised again by a fan who loves her but didn't know she lived in Oklahoma. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm a big fan, I love you, I watch your videos, what are you doing here? So that didn't really make sense. And I'm not being funny. I'm never being funny. I'm not being funny. The guy says, are you Amberlynn Reed? Who else is it gonna be? I'm not being, I'm trying, I'm not, I'm not being mean. Who else is it gonna be? Or is that 500 pound woman with that shelf butt in the, man, that's anything else. But, oh, oh, I think that's Amberlynn Reed. Who else is it gonna be? 
Oh god, are you Mr. Snowflake? Yep, I'm Mr. Snowflake. God, what are you, what are you doing here? Just, just having a shit. I just want a hundred tickets, bitch! She pretends that she's with her mates, which is a little bit cringy. <laughs> yeah, I'll be with you in a minute, my 100 friends. I'm just finishing this, yeah. And then we'll all go bowling. <laughs> Alright, okay, man. I don't want friends. I don't want friends. Don't like them. Jokes aside, though, what's Amber offering that other, other channels aren't? What's unique to her that she's just lifting stuff up again without saying a word? It's not offering anything that other channels aren't doing better. You watch Zachary Michael because he laughs a lot. He doesn't take it so seriously. It's it's infectious when he's laughing. I understand the appeal of watching Zachary Michael. You watch Jimmy Bunker because you feel sorry for him and you're giving him a pity watch. I understand the appeal of watching Jimmy. You watch me because, uh, what do I offer? Cardigans, because I wear a cardigan. But Amber just doesn't offer anything. I don't understand the appeal of watching her. I do, because it's my job. Someone's got it, fuck's sake. But they're so sharp. The show and stuff without saying anything is at its worst in this this vlog. It's the worst one I've uh, I've seen. I don't know why she just doesn't say just anything. She's in a room with a load of fancy crystals. Just say anything. Uh, crystals. It reminds me of my ex-girlfriend Crystal, who I used to batter. Supposedly. This is the palm reading for my past life, and supposedly I was a siren, and I hopped on a lot of different ships and i had two husbands i had a daughter i was like okay queen pop off i thought just like everybody thinks that amber focuses too much on her past now she's focusing on her past lives she's going way back <laughs> and then this was supposed to be my life now all of this looks like gibberish to you guys your ears are just looking at lines and circles but every single thing that the woman said to me like every line means something it was like so crazy accurate like i was shocked so this ah, fucking hell the so sharp still doing me job so this line tells me that you have trouble walking how did you know that this line here tells me that you have trouble breathing how did you know that <clears throat> i had trouble breathing there now your shower line here is actually missing uh, but you do have a rag on a stick line. <laughs> I haven't had my uh, palm read. I don't think I have. I don't think so anyway. But I have had me, uh, you know, the cards that, what do you call them? Tarot cards. I've had me tarot cards read when I was, I think, 17. And she said, true story. I'm not doing a bit. I'm trying to be funny. She said, you're really interested in computers, aren't you? You're really, you're really good at computers. And I'm, I was the only 17 year old lad in the world. Terrible at, com I'm still terrible at computers now, but I didn't have a clue about computers but I just went yeah yeah she also said uh you've got a girl in your life haven't you what 17 year old boy doesn't have a girl in his life me I didn't she did say you're gonna grow up to make YouTube videos about an overweight woman and you'll sometimes wear a blue pillowcase on your head but I think that was just a lucky guess all right this next bit I found very strange so I'm doing some laundry. These are the sheets that my friend slept on, on the couch, so I gotta clean those as well. It would be more believable if you put a red circle around the, uh, the bed sheets. And here's the bed sheets that my friend slept on. That's right, that, that's, I don't get it. It's like, try, trying to prove that they were there. But sure, I just, I don't, here's the skid mark one left in the toilet. Here's the, the, the lipstick on one of the coffee cups. It's very strange, it's very strange. It's almost like it didn't happen. And I think it did happen. I think her friends did come to stay. I know some people don't. I think they did come to stay, so I find it odd that she did that. The next video is titled, This Conversation Gets Really Serious and Dark. Oh yeah, she talks about the person who took a photo at the laundromat. It's not safe out here for women. Like, I feel like I am a woman who is unsafe and like a man is literally getting super close to me and taking a video of my butt to show online. It makes me uncomfy and I'm going to like stand by that. She said, it's not safe for women. It's not safe for women who dared Amber. Have you seen 
Everybody who dates Amber, it's not safe with the people who are going out with her. Never mind strangers. She then addresses the rumors about the Wayans. What do you say to the rumors that the Wayans are fake? I just think that's silly. This is something that's always been going on on my channel where people think I fake my Wayans because people think that I weigh more than I actually say that I do. She's literally said in the past, oh, I use literally and I'm, I'm gonna use it wrong because I'm having a paraphrase. She said something like, when I'm gaining, I'll just tell you that I'm losing. So again, she can, she can act as smug as she likes. She can be on that smug high horse <laughs> as much as she likes. People only don't believe her because of because of her. But she created this. I'm a, I'm a boring guy who wears cardigans. I'm known as a boring guy who wears cardigans. That's because of me. I've created that. Amma is known as a liar. She's created that. She lies in every single video. She's, I don't know how many lies she's told over 10 years. Thousands. And when she tells the truth, she gets offended that people don't believe her. It's tough. It's, it's the girl who cried weight loss. That's quite good. Could make a book on that. It's the girl who cried weight loss. It's not like these now. So I think we're past the part of like, oh, we don't trust Amber Lynn. That's why we don't believe her weigh-ins. It's more so like, hi, I'm bored. I don't have a life. So let's like say, you know, Amber Lynn's faking these weigh-ins because we have nothing else to talk about. The video where she went to the, the casino with her mates said, oh, it was a whirlwind. I had the greatest time. It was the best time of my life. It was a whirlwind. Because she went out for some food and drinks is telling you a lot that you've got no lives. The woman, who for a good chunk of her life was bed bound, stuck in bed growing fungus on her, like it's the last of us. That's about fungus, isn't it? The woman who just lay in bed growing fungus is telling you a lot that you've got no lives. The last question is, are you worried about all of the plus size influencers dying? I have never been part of health at every size because I don't believe that. Not every size is healthy and I feel like that's very obvious. For once, I actually agree with, with something Amma says. Uh, she ruins it straight away though. There was a minute there, years and years ago, where I was delusional when, where it's like doctors would tell me you know, yeah, everything's perfect. Like your blood results, perfect. Like you're healthy, you're just overweight. Like I would hear those things constantly. So it fed into my Delulu. I don't believe that the doctors have ever told her, oh, your health's perfect, oh, you're great. Maybe that doctor, fuck, nails. They really hurt. I don't know why you do it yourself. Uh, maybe that doctor, I don't believe any doctor has ever said to, you, to her that she's healthy or anything like that. It's ridiculous. But. Y'all, I tell, like, I'm telling you, your 30s, your brain, like, I think it becomes more clear because I just feel like I think more clear now. The way that I used to think, like, early 20s, mid 20s is, like, so different than, like, the way that I think now. So Amber thinks she's not delusional now. And I thought it was interesting what she was saying, that when you're in your 30s, you, you think totally different, differently than you did in your 20s. And that's true for most people. Because when you're in your 30s, you've had all these different experiences. You've had uh, loads of different jobs. You've met loads of different people. You've gone through different experiences. But Amber has relived the same day over and over. It's just been the same thing. I don't know. Girlfriend, girlfriend I'm, in I'm in love. She broke, she up, broke with up with me. Girlfriend, girlfriend I'm in love. In she love. broke she up with me. Girlfriend. girlfriend. She's lived the same day. Everything's been the same. From her 20s to, to her 30s, it's been the same thing. So I don't think her thinking is different because she hasn't had any experiences to change her thinking. Do you know what I mean? I know what I mean. Then Amber seemed really concerned about her weight. I don't want to die because of my weight. I don't want to die because of complications because of my weight. She then gave us a weigh in. Hello. It's ready. 515.0 pounds. Yup. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I gained 6.2 pounds of salt, water retention, calories. Oh well, I guess she wasn't that concerned about dying. Dying. I understand like Christopher Walken. I guess she wasn't so concerned with dying. Oh, but last bit was alright. With dying. In the fourth video of the month, Amber shows us what she gets in the mail today. I was thinking of Bear in the Big Blue House there. What's in the mail today? Some of you will know what I'm on about. Try to guess what is in this heavy, huge box. I'll let you guys think about it. Feline's head so she can never leave her again. And she'll mount it on the, on the, actually she won't, will she? She hasn't got anybody to put up the decorations. That's why all the walls are bare. Feline's head. <laughs> For Valentine's Day, she got me 
this Lego that I've been wanting. I just can't. Like, how sweet is that? So I am not like a Batman girly. Like, you're not gonna see me watching the Batman movies on my free time. But there are some pretty awesome Batman Legos. I literally said I had to have it. Like, tell me that isn't freaking stunning. Amber's Valentine spent 400 bucks on a Lego Batman. She's not in a relationship with this person. She's never met her. And this person, I assume, has a regular job, isn't a YouTuber who makes loads of money. I assume she has a regular job. And she spent 400 quid. Who's got 400 quid? She spent 400 quid on a Lego set for someone she's never met. When she keeps calling this person a Valentine, it makes me think of uh, Lisa Simpson from The Simpsons. Lisa Simpson and Ralph Wiggum. On the Valentine's Day episode, I choo choo choose you. You'll know which one I mean. Although I think I think Ralph Wiggum is smarter than Amber, quite considerably. And there was actually a bit of a hint uh, about who a Valentine was. Well, you guys, this happened. Yeah, I did. She loves copying her partners. She might be copying Jimmy, my latest partner. Jimmy, are you and Amber? Dayton. Hey baby. I have no idea what Jimmy's filmed there. I he hasn't sent me it yet. So it might be hilarious or it might be terrible. I don't know what he's what he's filming. Amber shows off some more crap that she bought herself. And then another decor piece, which I thought was so cute, is this disco ball. I love the aesthetic of a disco ball. I got a new journal. Don't come for me. I journal a lot, folks. I've actually uh, got one of Amber's journals here. <sighs> Uh, day one, didn't leave the house. Day two, didn't leave the house. Day three, bought a disco ball. Day four, didn't leave the house. Day five, cried about Felaine. Day six, bought myself a Lego set. Pretended it was from my Valentine. Uh, day seven, didn't leave the house. Day eight, you get the, you get the joke, you get the joke. Amber then does one of her taste tests. Mm-hmm. I knew she was gonna be good. All right, let's do the Thai one. Oh no. Oh, that tastes like rotted milk. Rotted, rotted milk? I think your brain's rotted, mate. Rotted milk. Amber then shows us an old clip where she shows off the um, the aftermath of poop gate. No, Salah's poop gate, isn't it? What's this? Potato gate, where she pooped on the floor. Uh, what does she do next? Oh yeah, she addresses some conspiracy theories. People are thinking that I lied about having friends come visit me because they weren't in my videos, their voices weren't. And that's because I highly respect people's privacy. I just made a two hour video, Victims of an Empath, about her not respecting anybody's privacy. I am behind on a thousand pound sisters. I'm two episodes behind. You're right, Amber, you're way behind the uh, thousand pound sisters. You're way behind the lapping you. Amber celebrates Valentine's Day by doing a Q&A where she gets to ask herself some questions. How do you feel about the success of Tammy Slayton? So I really wanted to choose this question because I feel like people compare us a lot. But what I feel about her success is happiness. I feel inspired. She motivates me. Like, I've always liked Tammy. Years and years and years ago, you might have heard, you know, troll in, throw like a shade here and there. But... It was never like true authentic how I felt about her. So she's throwing shade at Tammy, she said. I, I don't, I've tried to look, I don't know what she means, but you'll, you'll, some, somebody, some of you watching this will, will know the, the shade she's on about. But she didn't mean it, she was trolling. When she's being really stupid, she's trolling like the ASMR nonsense. When she's being a bit of a, bit of a bitch, she's trolling. So anytime she's doing anything stupid or awful where she gets called out, she just goes, I was trolling, I was trolling. Again, um, because me and Amber are a good mate, she sent me some of the um, rejected questions that she, she didn't answer on the on the video. Um, she got a couple. What did she get? Um, were you grooming Libby? Uh, was one. Uh, why did you pressure a minor into sending child pee? It's a good question. Will you ever apologize to Casey for labeling him as a rapist? How's Damon White doing? And what's your favorite color? Amber. And I'm not trying to be funny here. Amber then thinks, well, I'll, let, I'll play the clip. 
But last week I was 515.0. And that was after spending time with some friends that came down and I ate more than usual, walked more than usual, which I swell a lot when I walk a lot, especially like when I'm in a car a lot, which I was doing that as well. And I gained some weight. And Amber's mind, she's the only person on the planet to go for a walk and that causes it to gain weight. She's, she's a medical mystery. I'm only eating about once or twice a day. Every time I ate though, it was a takeout meal. So like an example, if I wanted seafood boil, I said, you know what? I'm gonna get seafood boil. I'm gonna allow myself to have this meal. I'm going to enjoy it. She didn't do Vlogmas last year because it reminded her too much of wifey, but she can still get a seafood boil. That's got a reminder of wifey because she, she, uh, yeah, she would have been dead without her, wouldn't she? I just really love to be the queen of moderation. What can I say? So Amber, uh, started trying to be in on the joke now where people laughed at her for being really stupid saying and doing stupid things So now she's trying to be in on the joke, but it doesn't work because she's still at the same intelligence level now that, that she was back then when she was thick So this is the first time I've ever made rice like by myself with no one helping Has she always had someone to help help her make rice? This is the first time the first time she's made rice by herself I know we all joke, or well, maybe it isn't a joke. It's not, is it? But I know people like to say, oh, she's, she's trying to find a new caretaker. She's always had caretakers, but she's never made rice before on her own. And she's, always, she's had rice loads of times in videos. I think she has literally just had caretakers. Oh, bombshell. I know I'm late to the party, but yeah, she's never made rice on her own. That can't be rice. Can't be right, for fuck's sake. She does a taste test. Rice taste test. Oh, that's bomb. She's amazed that rice tastes like rice, as if it was going to taste like an ice cream sundae. I hate the taste tests. You know I don't like the taste tests. Because it tastes... Oh, look. Um, what is it? Peach. Peach yogurt. Oh, it tastes like peach. Yeah. Taste test. Again, it's just an excuse to eat a bunch of, bunch of food. Sorry, my yogurt fell off. As if, why did I panic there? <laughs> I almost over... Oh, my yogurt! Well, nothing happened. Maybe wearing these has made me more uh, dramatic. Turn me in. I fuck it. I remember watching interviews with Wolverine? Not Wolverine. Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine. And he was talking about how he'd stab himself sometimes. That's what I feel like. Can I take these off yet? I only put them on for. Uh, how, do you, how do you get them off? I'm not doing a joke. How do you take them off? I thought you just pull them off. Ah! The cooking with me videos, there with us. It reminds me of The Walking Dead. Walking Dead, this episode and this episode, it's leading somewhere, it's going towards something. But then every now and again, there'd be a random episode, two characters, whatever, in a different location, and it just goes nowhere. And you can miss that episode out, and it wouldn't affect the plot. That's what these cooking videos feel like, just wasted spit. You could miss them out, you can never watch them and you're not missing anything. She wouldn't survive in The Walking Dead. She'd be caught straight away. <laughs> But then she'd be a rubbish zombie. You could run away from her easy. Walkers. She'd be called. Think of something funny. Waddlers. Waddlers. She'd be called a waddler. Oh. Amber then gets another visit from a doctor. ASMR. The video was eight minutes and nineteen seconds long. I think she is just. I think she's just trying to get to eight minutes so you can put adverts in. It doesn't feel like she's proud of her videos. Doesn't feel like there's any care or thought going into them, it's just do anything to get to, to eight minutes. Video seven starts with an amber lie. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Hi. Okay, so, hi, Amberlynn in the future. So what just happened here is I had to click off because the guy that I said hi to, he complimented my hair, asked me what I was doing tonight, Looked at the food in my cart, which at that point I was about to check out. I had like everything in the cart and he was like, invite me over and I'll cook for you. I was like, oh my God. Obviously I said no, but just had to clarify that that's what happened there. That was weird. Actually, something really, really similar happened to me today. Hi guys. So something really weird happened to me at the grocery store as well. So I was just walking along with me shopping cart and I bumped into this girl. She complimented me on my beard. She said, what a smashing cardigan you've got on. And she offered to come around and cook dinner for me. And then she wanted me to go to bingo with her and her, her, and her mother and her grandma and her grandma's best friend. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Hi. You get out the fucking way. No, obviously I'm, I'm lying. 
like Amber was lying. Now, if you watch it back, like I have many times, uh, if you watch it back, she's talking to nobody. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Hi. She answers somebody, oh, hello, like somebody says something, but nobody says anything before that or after. There's no sound from anybody. Ever since that person took a photo and the video of her in the laundromat, she's just obsessed with changing how people think she's viewed in public when she's recognised. Oh, people, somebody took a photo of me and put it on the internet and, and they thought I looked fat and sad. Oh, people think I'm a joke. No, they don't. They, they love me when they meet me. But it's all, this is all happening just a few weeks after the, the laundromat stuff, so it's, it's a bit pathetic. Okay, so I'm currently at the grocery store. I'm about to go home and then we could do like a little grocery haul moment. I bought a ton of hard-boiled eggs that are already cooked. I've never seen that before. I didn't even know it was a thing. I don't know if we have it over here, but I've gen I've never seen already cooked eggs like that. I've never seen it. I was trying to think, why would you ever need that? It takes 10 minutes. Why would you need that? I can only think it's for commuters, people who travel a lot and they just need a snack. They need something quick. But where's Amber commuting? The living room to the kitchen, the kitchen to the toilet. Where's she going? She's got nothing but time. So I don't get that one. Oh yeah, she's lazy. I don't know why I keep trying to make it more complicated. I think it was like, last week or the week before i won like a hundred or something whenever i do get a bingo though like i'll really quickly be like mom i got a bingo and then like she'll yell bingo for me because like i'm so shy and i feel like paralyzed i cannot say bingo even if it was like for a thousand dollars i like wouldn't be able to say it so my mom has to say it for me it's this is exactly why amazon only making rice for the first time in our own now because people let her get away with stuff oh can you shout bingo no, do it yourself, grow up. Can you drive me here? You learn to drive. People need to tell her. People need to just tell her. Do it yourself, man. But she's so cute. How can you resist those gorgeous eyes of hers? Uber. Uber? Uber? Uber. Is that in shot? I don't know. My God, you're a good looking. <coughs> I don't, I genuinely don't know how women wear these. Ridiculous. It's not been worth the joke. And also something else that I want to talk about is I have a friend and she said it's totally fine if I talk about this and like say her name and stuff. Her name is Alexis. I have been friends with her since summertime and her and I have gotten really close like best friend territory. Like always talking on the phone. We're always there for each other. And a lot of people like assume that her and I were dating or are dating no that never happened her and i are literally just strictly friends and i know a lot of you are gonna be like oh my god this is just like amberlynn lying so we don't find out like who it is like no alexis is literally just like my best friend apathetic facts did a really good video about this actually here's alexis sharing and commenting on girl world on her facebook here she is defending amber's actions in a public comment section and here she and amber are publicly flirting via tiktok it feels like she's trying to throw people off the scent like she did with what did she say Oh, wifey one's gone. Now I'm with wifey two. Obviously a lie, she's now admitted it's a lie. It feels like that, that she's trying to throw people off the scent, but yeah, she said babes all of a sudden, like Alexis does. Now she has these plushy toys. If I had to put money on it, I'd say it's this Alexis person. Is this Alexis person actually a caretaker? She's, she's filming herself at work. Is she actually a caretaker? Amber's found herself a caretaker. A professional caretaker. But yeah, definitely not moving fast. This is actually the slowest I have ever moved with someone that I'm interested in. So props to me for doing that. Like this girly pop taking it slow. Amber wants props for taking it slow. It's not up to her how quick it goes. That other person hasn't come to see her yet. If she, if she said, can I come see you tomorrow, Amber? Amber would say yes. But Amber's not visiting the other person. She's got no choice but to take it slow because you've got to wait for the person to come see you. So you're not getting props for taking it slow. You can't take it any other pace. You're just relying on this other person. Props. I was going to stick my fingers up, but I'm scared where to put them. Oh, that sounds quite nice. I'm going to stop. And this is where Foodie Beauty is going to end up when she meets her next partner. She's going to get dumped by Salah and she's going to meet someone and move to Great Britain. Fuck. I'll get the spare room. Ah! I'll get the spare room made up. Right. Um, back to Amber anyway. God, food is always on my mind. Oh, and I noticed. Might just be me looking 
too much into things. She's always wearing that stupid outhouse Shrek top every time she's talking about, oh, I've got a new girlfriend. She did it with Wifey. She did it a few months ago on a live. She, oh, she was dead excited about the girl who then just stopped talking to her. Oh, that might have been Alexis. Um, she's always wearing that top. I don't know if it's just subconscious and she feels sexiest in that. Like, I feel sexiest in this, so I keep wearing it now. I don't know if it's just a subconscious thing. Shut up, I look really nice. I don't know if it's a subconscious thing or not, but keep an eye out for outhouse top. Okay, you guys, so I'm getting my nails done. Here's a before. Okay, you guys, so I got like a lime green. I also got my nails did earlier. Don't know if you can tell. Really nice. Okay, so are we eating, drinking, and bold? Um, we'll see. <laughs> So I guess it's that white stuff. Do you guys see it? Okay, I Googled it and majority of the things that I saw said that it is mold. Oh no, Amber wouldn't want to do anything to jeopardize her health, would she? Would she? I'm just thinking of how much better my lungs would be if I didn't vape. I mean, I'm not just strictly blaming vaping, but it definitely doesn't help. And I don't vape nicotine. I know a lot of people got confused with that, but no. It's not her fault she vapes, it's the, it's the vape monster. Whoa. Oop, I see some chemtrails. What about you guys? Two of them, actually. For those of you who say planes can't fly, what do you say to that? I'll find the clip. You know what I'm talking about. For those of you who say birds can't fly or walk. To those who say that birds don't walk, watch this fella. Oh, he's waddling. Because people say stuff to Amber to wind her up, to, to play a joke on her, but she's not clever enough to understand people are playing a joke. So Amber, People, everybody knows birds can walk. They were just saying it to wind you up. I felt like I was doing so good and I was just excited. And I stepped on the scale and gained like three pounds and I don't know how. How did she gain three pounds? She went for a walk? Oh yeah, she gains weight when she walks. <laughs> she's gotta stop walking. She's gonna gain three pounds every time she goes for a mile walk. I always have my phone on silent, but when I am sleeping, my phone is always on loud, just in case someone needs me, like my mom, whatever it may be. I like that she only lists a mom there. If anybody needs me, like me mom, whatever. And in what situation? Is she desperately needed, like she's making out? Quick, somebody, we need somebody to make rice. We need somebody to, to kill a cat. She'd be good at that one. She then goes off on a, another wild adventure with her mom and her grandma. Thank you. Right. There's no way. Do you want one of these? No, I don't want it. You can just add it until it's yours. Yeah, I could do it too. <laughs> How many times over the years have we seen her going into a store and trying on sunglasses? I think that's why she says she thinks she's so quirky. She always says, I'm really quirky, I'm really weird. I think it is just going into stores and trying on sunglasses. I just want to say that there was so many subscribers out today that I met. Hello, hello. Like, you guys are so sweet. You literally make my day. Like, my mom and my grandma can't get over the concept of, like, YouTube and, like, me being, like, known. I love meeting you guys, and I'm just, like, so grateful how sweet you are and kind, and I just love it so much. Ever since that laundromat incident, She's had subscribers and the droves coming up to her, loving her. I think in her head, maybe she is like Cartman from South Park. Maybe she remembers it differently to how it actually happened. In her head, maybe it is like Beatlemania. Like everybody's just, oh my God, it's Amber just screaming, running after her. When really, it was somebody just looking at her thinking, ah, oh, she's a big lass. But that, that might be all it is. I genuinely think. I don't even think she lies. Oh, she does lie. <laughs> I don't even uh, think she lies some of the time. I think in her head, she just she just twists it and remembers it differently. I think she does seem really desperate though to try and convince us that in public she's loved. She's not a joke like the laundromat thing was. People thought of it, it's a bit of a joke. I think she's just obsessed. I think it's it's in her head now. The laundromat stuff is, is just living in her head rent free like she did when she lived with Crystal. That's pretty good. That was it for this video. She showed a couple of clips that she hadn't used in earlier vlogs, weren't good enough to use but she just put them in here to pad out the runtime because it was, what does me know, it's just over eight minutes. Just over eight minutes again, so now she's using old footage, not good enough for other vlogs. Just putting it in, just desperately trying to get to eight minutes. I don't know how much longer the channel goes. It's, it's nearly dead, isn't it? It's dying. It's on its last legs. 
video nine in, in the last video of, of January. Uh, what is it? Eating with her, what she eats in a day. And this one's really, really obvious that she's she's just trying to get to the, the eight minutes. She shows us everything that goes into making eggs. Every little step, she shows us, she shows us every little step that goes into making a coffee. Uh, she does the same with the smoothie, every little step. She doesn't miss anything out. It hits different. And yes, every time I eat an egg, people are like, aren't you allergic? No, not allergic. I do have an egg intolerance, which actually runs in the family because my aunt and my mom also suffer with the same thing. Again, she can sit on that smoke high horse. <laughs> but people only only talk about this and make fun of her because she was the one who said she had an, an egg allergy. And then people said, that's ridiculous. No, you don't. You eat eggs all the time. And then she had to change, I was trolling. And then she had to change it to uh, egg intolerance. Like I say, this video, well, a few videos now in this month have just felt like a really desperate attempt to try and get her video over eight minutes and there's a few just just got over the eight minute mark and this one's the worst where it shows the coffee and the smoothie and the egg every little step i'd love to i'd love to well i don't like it i'd love to try and help her make her videos more interesting i bet everybody would i bet everybody's got ideas on how to make them better i think we need to have an intervention for a terrible videos and, and say right this is how you're gonna make amber dm me i've got a new instagram now get in touch and we'll, we'll try and make your videos better but i get loads of messages from foodie beauty so i might, might take a while to reply and that's it that's that's the end of episode two uh february i'm i'm really liking them i'm i'm i'm, I'm liking the silliness i really like being i know i'm dead boring but i like being stupid and silly and this feels like a nice excuse to just to just be that like I, said, like I said at the beginning, it's a it's a lot less serious than victims or anything else. It's a nice excuse to be to be daft. So I'm I'm really liking them. Hopefully people are liking them as well. Because I want to keep making them and being silly for a living. That's nice. I want to do one on I want to do some on foodie. Um, King Cobra. I was talking to somebody today, today about doing a monthly mouthful on King Cobra. I don't know what he's up to. Is he oh he's homeless? Hasn't he got a girlfriend? Who's really sane? I don't know. On Jimmy, what's he been up to in the month? Anyway, right, I'm gonna Google. I'm gonna Google how to get rid of uh, fake nails because I genuinely thought you'd just pull them off. Right, I hope. Can I Google? Ew, barely. Uh, right, I'm gonna go try and figure out how you get these nails off. How you get these nails off, and uh, I'll see you in the in the next one. I don't know if the next one will be an Amber or, or somebody else. I'll, I'll have a look. Anyway, I'll, um. Hopefully it made you made you laugh. Right. Hope everyone's alright. See you see you in the next one. I didn't know who to pick there, Foodie or Amber. I went with Amber. Sorry, Foodie. You're still my favourite girl. Bye. Bye bye. So I soak my fingers for I don't know over an hour to try and get the nails off and, and here are the results.